Hey guys, in this video we are covering TN. I may make pronunciation errors, but let's get started with number one. So Tian Shin Han or Ten Shin Han's name like most characters in the series is a pun. We know how Toriyama loves his food, right? Well in Tian's case his name comes from the Japanese word Ten Shin Don, a Kueji Chinese dish consisting of crab meat omelette on rice. Although this dish is said to be Chinese, it was actually invented in Japan. Its name comes from the fact that it was originally prepared with high quality rice. Tian's name can also be pronounced as Ten Shin Han with a furagana reading which is why the community interchanged between those two pronunciations. However, in the English dub, Tian's name is modelled after the Mandarin pronunciation of the kanji Chinese character for sky or heaven, Tian. Due to having Chinese characters as its base, Tian's more accurate Mandarin pronunciation for his name is Tian Jin Fan or Tian Jin Fan. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. I more than likely mispronounced it. I don't know. And just to drop this in, in the Harmony Gold dub, Tian is called Shinto. The conception idea for Tian was most likely inspired by Erlang Shen from the tale Journey to the West. In the tale, Erlang Shen is the three-eyed Chinese god who is titled as being either the true lord or the illustrious sage. He is the nephew of the Jade Emperor. Erlang made his first appearance when he had been ordered by the Jade Emperor to subdue Sun Wukong who also happens to be the inspiration for Son Goku. In the early Dragon Ball series, Tien was also an antagonist who had to battle Goku which was clearly an imitation from the novel. Funnily enough, Tien's sensei was his master's name was Shen whose name could supposedly be originated from Erlang Shen as well. So if you guys watched our Krillin fact video, we mentioned that Krillin is stated to be the strongest human being by Akira Toriyama but we are going to exclude Oob from this statement because Toriyama might have forgotten he existed when he said that. Now Tien and Krillin's power is compared more than often within the Dragon Ball community. With a statement declaring Krillin as the strongest human, some would believe that Krillin being stronger than Tien is a hard fact. However, Tien is actually not fully human. That's right guys, in Daisen Shu 4, it is revealed that one of the reasons Tien is so powerful is because one half of his DNA is homo sapien and the other half comes from three eyed people, a humanoid species of aliens that share Tien's literal third eye. While almost nothing is known about the alien race, it's clear that their influence in Tien's nature is what grants him so many extraordinary abilities and techniques. The third eye however isn't a given for Tien just because of his ancestry. Toriyama has stated that those with the third eye have godlike powers and are capable of seeing through the illusions of this world. Tien however sacrificed many of these skills when he chose to follow Master Shen's dark path. We also learned that Tien once possessed only two eyes and achieved his third through intense meditation. Given his youthful deviations, we may never know the true power that Tien possessed or what the third eye people are fully capable of unleashing. The eye is definitely real and has been shown to blink throughout the series and a notable example of this is when Ten Shin Han was tracking Muten Roshi in the tournament. So hopefully more stuff will be mentioned in Dragon Ball Super about Tien's past and that will be pretty epic. Okay now ignoring that we just established Tien is not being fully human, if we include Tien as part of the human Z fighters, he is actually one of the strongest warriors on earth. He was proven himself many times in Dragon Ball, his power level is 180 during the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament and in 250 in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z his power level was 250 which is pretty good. After training at Kami's Lookout for a year his power level rises to 1830 and in fact Tien is one of the few warriors to have defeated Son Goku in a one on one fight during the world tournament. He is also one of the first characters to demonstrate the ability to fly in the Dragon Ball series along with Chaozu. Also guys I know in Dragon Ball Super 
TN pretty much lost to Master Roshi quite easily in the Dragon Ball Mystical Adventure movie. However, TN defeats Master Roshi in a single hit, but this movie wasn't really canon. TN was also shown how capable he is when he held off Semi Perfect Cell using his Tri Beam attack, which is probably considered as one of his greatest feats. Well, if we put it that way, TN doesn't seem that strong, but take my word, guys, TN is pretty strong. Well, he's way stronger than we can imagine. And um, it's Dragon Ball Z, they can do what they want. So TN is actually a man, yes guys that's right, like most men, TN had his share with the ladies in Dragon Ball. There was many hints that TN and Launch got together and potentially ended up dating. Now some of you guys might have forgotten who Launch is, well don't worry Toriyama forgot too. And in the early Dragon Ball and manga, Launch was a sweet blue haired girl who ended up living in Kami House with Master Roshi. She was pretty much just there for fan service, but she did bring up some fun to the table as whenever she sneezed, she transformed into a blonde badass. This side of Launch was pretty wild and she wasn't afraid to fire those rounds. And funnily enough, the blonde badass version of Launch had a major crush on TN. And a fun play on this relationship is in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, the video game. While you are doing a training session with TN, Yamcha will state that TN is doing this just to impress Launch, which further hints to the fact that they might have dated. TN didn't really have the chance to participate in Fusion in the series, but in the video games, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 and Dragon Ball Fusion, Tien and Yamcha's fusion Tien Sha made his introduction. So Tien Sha was born by the fusion dance and he wears the exact same metamoran uniform that Gotenks is seen wearing. The fusion features Yamcha's spiky hair coming out of the back and Tien's bald head. With Tien's third eye being upside down on Tien Sha's forehead. Tien Sha can also use both Tien's signature moves along with Yamcha. So they can use Tien's Tri-Beam and Yamcha's Wolf Fang Fist and Dodo Hamaha and a combination of Dodo and Rei and the Kamehameha so he can be pretty much OP but we don't know, we just don't know guys, he probably could kill Frieza, we just don't know. <laughs> nah, let's, let's, come on man, it's Yamcha, you can't kill shit. TN was voiced by Hirotaka Suzuoki for the Japanese dub, the same dude that voiced Giovanni from Pokemon and Saito Hajime from Rorani Kenshin. However, unfortunately Suzuoki passed away in 2006 due to lung cancer. After his death, Mitsuaki Madonna voiced TN in several video games such as Burst Limit and World's Greatest Adventure, and later Hikaru Midurika who took over the role for Dragon Ball Kai and Dragon Ball Super, hopefully I pronounced their names correctly. In the Ocean English dub, TN was voiced by Matt Smith, and in the Funimation dubs of the series he was voiced by Chris Casson, but later John Berg Mier he took over, but Ray Chase voices TN for the Toonami dub of Super, so he pretty much has one of the most voice actors between all the characters, he always gets changed. Although Tien is a major member of the Z squad, he isn't really featured much and is left out a lot, along with some of the other warriors which is more likely due to all the power scaling. But in the movie, Dragon Ball Yo, Son Goku and his friends return, Tien does not appear, while in the manga he does. This was done because the original voice actor as I mentioned before, Hirotaka Suzuoki had died two years earlier. However, this wasn't much of a problem as TN and Chatsu are reclusive in nature. TN also had some animation errors. For example, at the end of Dragon Ball episode Full Moon Vengeance, due to an, an animation error, TN is briefly seen without his third eye when Chatsu leaves to enter the ring. Also, there is the scar on Tien's chest is given to him from the fight with Mercenary Tao in the 23rd World Tournament, but oddly it's never healed and even with the aid of any sense of being he ate after the tournament. 
So if you guys didn't know about this, but there is a non-canon movie Dragon Ball Mystical Adventure and Tien is Chaozu's bodyguard as Chaozu is an emperor of a large kingdom called Mifan and initially Tien is part of an evil scheme to take over the kingdom along with his master Shen and mercenary Tao Papai but Tien gradually becomes friends with Chaozu and later when his master orders Tien to kill Chaozu, he refuses provoking Master Shen to shoot his Don Don Ray at Tien. Yeah, Don Don Ray mate. But Tien blows him away with his tri-beam. After Chaozu ends up asking Tien that if he could stay with him, which Tien humbly agrees. Well, this is the beginning of their relationship, it's quite cute if you want to know some background about it. I always thought Chaozu was just Tien's Pokemon or mascot but it's nice to know that Chaozu is his best friend and it is non-canon but it's interesting to watch and check it out. Alright guys, blazing round time, hopefully you can keep up with me. In Dragon Ball Forever poll of the top 20 best characters, Tien was voted number 16 by Japanese fans. This is above Bulma, Andrew 17, Yajibori Wi and Videl. Tien was born at the age 733, the same year as Yamcha and Bulma and a year after Vegeta. Tien died twice in Dragon Ball Z, once by Nappa and the other time by Kid Buu when he blows up the planet. Tien is 6 foot 2, 187cm tall and weighs 165 pounds which is 75 kilos. His hobby is playing volleyball with Chaozu. His favourite food is Jiao Ozi and Xiao Mai. His favourite vehicle is the Llama and Ostrich. Yeah, he likes riding an ostrich. That's pretty weird when he can fly. Tien is not bald. He actually has had hair, but he shaves it as Master Shen stated in Dragon Ball. He does have hair. That would be pretty, pretty cool if he brought his hair back, but I don't know why he just took it off. He takes it off all the time and Toriyama's probably forgot. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new about Tian Shen Han in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. And make sure you smash that like button and let me know what your favorite Tien moment was and why do you like him. I pretty much liked Tien since the very beginning. I don't know why, is this something about him? Have you seen him in Dragon Ball Super? My man has the perfect aesthetics and has the perfect muscles. His shoulder muscles are insane. He has a better physique than Goku. My man is insane. I hope you check out our other Dragon Ball videos as always and thank you for watching our video. Thank you.